Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pina and this is our snack for the journey. And this week we are in the book of Nahum, book of Nahum, a powerful, powerful book, a prophecy delivered a hundred years later to the same city, Nineveh, the same city that Jonah prophesied. And, uh, and at that time, God was ready, ready to destroy them. And the message from Jonah was 40 days and you will be destroyed. And they repented and God pushed button, uh, pause, pushed the bottom of pause and pause everything. And then a hundred years later, they're back in the same spot. But now there is no repentance that will prevent the justice and destruction and punishment that's coming from God. And it's, it's a powerful, powerful book. Uh, uh, and prophecy. It was a powerful prophecy. And before I read the verse for today, I'd like to encourage you to share this video with your friends and families and help us to bless other people and also to subscribe to our channel. We appreciate that. Subscribe to our channel. Verse for today is a very tricky verse, but it's very important. We need to to share with, with you. It's uh, chapter 3, verse 13. Look what it says. Look at your troops. They're talking to Nineveh. God talking to him. They are all women. The gates of your land are wide open to your enemies. Fire has consumed their bars. It's, it's kind of, oh, it's, uh, it's talking against the women. And the women cannot fight. They could not. At that time, that is the point here. Let's put the context here. We're talking about hundreds and hundreds of years before Christ. Okay? So you need, before you make a judgment, you need to understand the situation there. What's the situation? The, the women at that point, they were, they were the weakest part in the, in the whole chain of life. You need to understand that to understand what the message is here. If not, you're going to miss the point. If you stick in the, oh, they're talking about the women. No, that's not the point. The point is all your armies, your powerful army, is like the women. They're women. That means they're not going to do anything. They cannot fight. They don't know how to fight. They were not trained to fight. Never hold a, 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 a sword in their hands an arrow in their hands. They, they cannot do anything. This is the message here. It's not against the women. They can be trained today. We know that. They can fight very well. We know that. It, it's a different story. You need to understand the context. The context here is saying, look, your arm look like a bunch of ladies with high heels, with almost no clothing, going to war. And they have no chance. This is what the, the verse is here saying, that it's, it's, uh, your army look like a women, bunch of women. And they have no chance to win. And your gates are wide open for their enemies. And the bars, they are consumed. That there is no bars there. The, the idea here, in this verse, it's God telling the Ninevites, you have no chance to win this battle. None whatsoever. It's gone. No chance. Oh, but we have this army. We have the best soldiers, the strongest, the, the strongest soldiers, the mighty soldiers. On. No, they look like ladies. They're not going to win. There is no chance. And the gates are wide open. You're doomed. Gone. That is the situation. That is the situation. This is what happens when you fight God. You are not strong enough. You are not good enough to fight God. This is what the message here is telling us. You think that you're, you're strong, you, you, you can do it, you're a man, you're this, you're that. You cannot fight God. 
I'm a man. There is no chance. Stop it. Stop it. Before it's too late. For Nineveh, at that time, was too late. Was too late. They had their chance. And they did not use that chance. And they lost. So it's a, it's a very important lesson for us. When God is involved in the fight, the best fighter look like a lady. They cannot win. They cannot win at all. And that's the message here. And we need to be aware of that. And there is no way that we can win a fight against God. There is no way any nation in the world can win a fight against God. They have no chance. We need to understand that. We need to believe in that. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.